RCA Victor and its dealers present Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is kind of a surprise, I think, probably for you. It is for me, too. I'm Burr Tilstrom, in case you don't know who I am, and I'm usually backstage helping Kukla and Ollie. Uh, sometimes I come out at the very end of the show, you may remember that. Uh, I have something kind of special to read. Uh, it's given us a big thrill here at the Kukupalton Playhouse, and I'd like to read it for you now. Be it known that the George Foster Peabody Radio Award is hereby presented to Kukla, Fran, and Ollie, National Broadcasting Company, as the outstanding children's television program during 1949. Upon recommendation of the Henry W. Grady School of Journalism, University of Georgia, and the Peabody Advisory Board. We're all very thrilled here at the Kukupalton Playhouse. Kuk and Ali are beside themselves. That's why I had to come out and kind of take over. Uh, awards like this are kind of hard to accept, uh, that is, as one person, because there's so much involved in the winning of an award, I think, or putting on of any program, especially television program nowadays. Uh, and if you'll notice in this announcement, they said, as the outstanding children's television program. We uh, kind of like to think of Kukla, Fran, and Ollie as a children's program in more, perhaps a little looser sense of the word. Uh, children meaning people who are young in heart, young in spirit, no matter where they are or how old they actually are in physical years. But actually, uh, this award isn't just given to me and to Fran and to Kukla and Ollie. It really is given to all the bunch who make up the show. Jack Fashionado, Louis Gomovitz, our director in the control room, Dula Zachary, our producer, and the gang behind us in our office, as well as the gang here in the studio. We don't have time to go into all the names. I'm, I'm sure if I tried to, I'd forget some, and I wouldn't want that to happen. But there are many, many people who are involved in putting on Kukla, Fran, and Ali. Uh, people here in, in the studio, people who push the dollies of the cameras, people who work the cameras, people who handle our props, turn on the lights, people in the control room who make the picture just the right shading, the fellow who works the audio, the sound, so that you can hear Kukla and Ali and Fran perfectly, the boys in master control who send the picture out over the air, the people who maintain the cable, the people in New York who take our show off the air, put it on kinescope film so that the rest of the country can see it, all these people and many, many more. I'd like to express my gratitude now to all those on the uh, Peabody Advisory Board, also to NBC for all their great help, to our very wonderful sponsors, RCA Victor, Ford Motor Company, National Dairy, for all the wonderful help they've given us. Without any of this help, we couldn't have done the show at any time. Now, as I understand it, uh, this award was made yesterday. It was announced by Dean John Drury, of the Henry W. Grady School of Journalism, and it was presented by Edward Weeks, editor of the Atlantic Monthly and chairman of the Peabody Awards Committee. Now, there was a film made at that time, and I believe it was made in the East, and uh, since we couldn't be there, we're going to show the film today. So if Gami is ready in the control room, how about having Mr. Weeks and the award? Thank you. The award for the best children's program in television goes to Kukla, Fran, and Ollie of NBC. Only the Fran of Kukla, Fran and Olive is a live person. The other Kuklapolitans are a troupe of puppet players, drawn together by a mutual passion for show business and chocolate sodas. And how wonderfully they have been brought to life under the skillful animation of Burr Tilstrom's hands. The quality here is the whimsy and the gentle satire of James Barry and Lewis Carroll. And while the program is primarily for children, it has captured the affection of a great many parents, too. So, in recognition of its excellence, we are happy to give it the George Forster Peabody Television Award in the category of children's programs. Fran! Yes? Fran, did you see the uh, film, man? Yes, I did. Isn't that fine? I should say it. I'm very happy and very thrilled. Oh, I'm very thrilled. Well, how come Tilson didn't, didn't invite you and me and Ollie up? Oh, I don't think it was any question of inviting. We just thought that would be a nice way to accept it. Yeah, well, I'm going to find out just a minute. 
<laughs> I don't see why you... Huh? Well, I... Mm -hmm. like... Oh, I'll he, he just... figured since our names were engraved on the little, pretty little medallion that we got, that, uh, that, that was, was enough. That was enough. Well, I think he's pretty right. <laughs> well, it's pretty exciting, wasn't yes, it? Yes, indeed. Well, what's the order for today? Well, I don't know. No? No, we were so excited, we didn't I know, I, I looked for you this afternoon. I thought maybe you'd want to plan a little bit, and I couldn't find you. We didn't plan really anything at didn't all. Didn't see Ollie either. Oh. Ollie and Ollie was very exciting. Excited. He went out to get a chain. A chain? A gold chain that he's gonna he's gonna wear the the, the Peabody medallion around oh, his neck. Oh, can't do that. I know he can't, but he wants to. Well, <laughs> let him uh, think he can for a while. Uh, well, I really don't know what to do except that I. Why don't we plan for the weekend something exciting? Plan for the weekend? Well, I heard that you were going out tonight to a party. <laughs> well, it's just me. I'm going out with the fellas. Well, I know. Dave Garraway and some of the kids, and the Jack Haskell, and mm -hmm. some of the boys. We're going out to Northwestern tonight. Oh? And we're going to see the Walmoo show out there. That's nice. It's a very wonderful show. You won't feel bad. No, I guess not. Well, friend, because if you don't feel bad, then I, I've got a surprise for you. Oh, well, then I don't feel at all bad. I love surprises. Uh, uh, over the weekend, we thought we'd go on a picnic because the, the weather is simply wonderful. We could go on our first spring picnic. Well, I, I, I'd love to go on the picnic, but it's frightfully windy outside. I know it's frightfully windy, but, but it'll be very nice. We could take along some weights and put them on the tablecloth. All right, I'll go. Want to go tomorrow afternoon? Tomorrow. Should we go tomorrow? Love to. Think that'd be fun. Yes. Yeah. That peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, we can have more than that. If I don't go anywhere tonight, maybe I can fix something. Potato salad? Potato salad. <laughs> Can't boil the potatoes with the jackets on. I'll go and put them on right now. All right, now. friend. <laughs> I think we ought to... What should we do now? We should have a... Uh, Got to have the thermos bottles. Be sure to put the thermos bottles in hot water so that, you know, if we're going to carry any hot drinks, All right. they won't crack. And, uh, and the hard-boiled egg slicer, Fran, that's down in the, in the left-hand drawer. We moved it. Oh? We were using it for something else. All right. We were cutting up some clay with it. With the, hot, with the slicer? With the hard-boiled egg slicer. All right. I hope it's clean. And, um, let me see, uh... Oh, do you want me to get some sandwich bread? No, I'll get it. Could to bake some? No, I won't bake it, but I, I think I know just what I want. Well, see, everybody has to have a job. Madam Oglepuss and Bill will help you. Ollie and I will, we will get the car ready and and uh, get the blankets and the, and the tablecloths. If it's possible, let Beulah help somebody else. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let her help. I'll let her help uh, Fletcher. All right. Because Fletcher will probably want to bring something to read, you know, to. We'll have and games. He'll want to plan the game. Mm -hmm. Cecil Bill will want to, he can bring the fishing tackle. And Colonel Cracky, Colonel Cracky can, uh, he can bring Madame Oglepuss. And, uh, oh dear. We ought to bring a little portable. Mercedes! Wasn't Mercedes the last one who had that? I didn't see it. I think. Mercedes! Mercedes, did you take our new little RCA Victor portable? Mm hmm. We're going on a picnic tomorrow. Goody, 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 goody. Goody, goody, goody. Is Linwood going? <laughs> well, I don't know, really, whether Lynn is going or not. We haven't invited him yet. Well, I won't go unless Lynn goes. Well, now, I don't know just how to decide that. <laughs> whether to invite him and take the chance. Well, we'll ask him. Oh, goody, 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 goody. We'll have fun. He's going to play jacks with me. How do you know? Because I decided. Well, does he know how? I'll teach him. I'll teach him. Wait, wait, wait. wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's our RCA Victor Portable? New one? Yes, you know, the little globe trotter that we, that we just got. The one that works on AC or DC current or, or on the battery. Oh, let me see. Is that the one with the golden throat? That's right. Oh. Globe trotter. Yes. It's in my room. Well, bring it up. It won't work. What do you mean it won't work? Well, I turned it on and it, this won't work. I don't know what, what happened. You know, you just do like that and it's supposed to go on and it didn't go on. Well, did you plug it in? No. Well, I wanted it just to work on the batteries. Well, does it have any batteries? 
I never thought of that. Well, let's look, you know, after all. It just came in, so maybe, maybe it didn't have the batteries attached inside. Oh, you broke it, Coco. No, I didn't. Just took the back off. It's a very simple process. Oh, dear. What are all those things? Well, there are resistors and tubes and, and condensers and... You know, I don't really know very much about those things, but it's, that's what makes the radio work. Oh, is that what does it? Oh, isn't that wonderful? Well, just a minute. I'm going to go and get some batteries now. What kind? What kind, indeed? <laughs> RCA radio batteries. Look. Well, it's a circus wagon. This isn't a battery. <laughs> that's a surprise. These new little RCA radio batteries come out in a, in, in a little circus wagon box, and you, you, can, you can cut them open like that, and then fold them down, and then you pull up the little sides and pull out the wheels like that, and you have a little, little circus wagon. Look at the panda and that can. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. This isn't the right size. We have to get a different size. Are there lots of different kinds? Sure, there's monkeys and lions and bears and pandas. And here are the lions. Now, this is the size for us. Well, where are the wheels? Well, they're on the bottom, see? And you just pull them up see? after you open the box. Oh, isn't that a cute idea? <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Now, let's just try it. Kind of heavy. Not bad. A lot of battery there, you know. Long-lasting power in that. Now, let's see. Oh. Much of these. Maybe you could just do this downstairs or get Fletcher to help you. He knows all about these. There's a little plug right in there, and that, that fastens into a little... There's a little... little place. There, right there. See? Right there. Where? Right there. Oh, I see. And that plugs into that little plug in there? That's right. Oh, well, I'll take it downstairs to Fletcher and do it. Well, be sure to bring it on the picnic. I will. My gracious, I'm going to buy lots of these. <laughs> so I can have a whole series of circus wagons. Fran! Yeah? Did you see all those circus wagons? No, I didn't. Boxes? Was that the surprise? Yeah, well, that was one of the surprises. Could I, uh, could I see it? Would you like to see them? You'd love to. It's a bigger one than I didn't have. This is a monkey. This is for a bigger battery. Oh, yeah. Isn't that fine? Little wheels fold under? Yeah. Isn't that great? You can get these anywhere through your local radio dealers or uh, servicemen. Radio servicemen. Uh, could I have that one? You like that? Yeah. You like the circus? Yeah. Oh, I love the circus. I like the circus. Love too. to go. Have, have, have you been to a lot of circuses? I went to quite a few. One morning, I remember, one time when we were over in Benton Harbor, we were doing shows over there, and we, we stayed up. Uh, we got up real early. We went to bed early, so we could get up very early in the morning. And uh, we camped out on the beach. And we got up early in the morning and saw them put the circus up with the, with the roustabouts. And oh, the, yes. Watch them unload. Yeah, and we saw all the performers. And Did you get a job? Carrying water. Did you? Mm-hmm. Got to see the whole thing. Got to see the whole thing. That's wonderful. What? To see the whole... Hello, Circus, Judy. how are you? Oh, I'm quite well, thank you. Well, you look wonderful. Thank you. You going to the party tonight, too? Yeah. I hope they'll all recognize me in the audience. What? Why, they wouldn't. I'm going to wear the medallion on my head. Oh, Ollie, oh, honestly. <laughs> Don't wear that. They'll wish they hadn't given it. I think it would look lovely. No, it I, I might wear it as a monocle. <laughs> We're talking about circuses. You want to go... Circuses? To... Is a circus in town? No, I don't guess one's in town. We got to talk about before we saw these little circus wagons. I think there is a circus in town, but I'm not sure. Is there? It's coming or whether it's been here or whether it's here now. Oh, aren't those the cutest things? Aren't they nice? I love circuses. I do too. But you know, if I was in a circus, I wouldn't want to be a performer. Oh, I would. I would I too. I always wanted to wear one of those pink skirts and stand on the back of a horse and have it gallop around the ring. and. I'd like to be the ringmaster. Yes, that would be nice. I'd like to announce you, ladies and gentlemen! The greatest show on earth! Wouldn't that be fine? Wonderful. What would you like to be? Your voice is a little piping for that sort of thing. You have to have loud, resonant tones. Oh, you can wear lapel mics now. Sounds real big. <laughs> it does? Well, well gone are the days when you used your diaphragm. <laughs> Hardly any used to have a diaphragm anymore. That's true. I wouldn't want to be a performer. I'd rather be like a roustabout. You know, the fellows that put up the circus, they're big, strong, husky, manly fellows, and they're kind of rough and tough, and they get out and do things 
But they all have hearts of gold. Do they? Yes. All have, that's the kind of, I like to be able to say, all right, the elephant, get that pole up there. And all right, fellas, let's get the big top up. And let's do this and let's do that. Oh. Is that all they do? Just say, let's do it? Don't they do it? They do it, too. But I'd be the boss. I just, once in a while, lend a helping tooth. <laughs> well, I tell you, if you if you were the roustabout, would you would you let uh, Cook and me come to the circus? Certainly, certainly, I'd you? I'd welcome you. Why don't we pretend we're at, we have a circus? And I'll be the roustabout, and you be a little girl who's come to to watch the circus be put up. See, and what'll I be? You could be uh you could be her brother, or you could be uh, can I be her boyfriend? No, you're her brother, or else you could be the ringmaster. Well, I'll just fit in wherever. All right, well. Right. Two star? Yeah, have you got a costume or something? You could be the little girl coming to the circus? Sure. Okay. And you, you can be the, you, I'll just fit in. Good for you. <laughs> Square peg kukla. <laughs> well, <laughs> sir. Oh, where's my roustabout costume? <laughs> well, sir, here we are. Just about ready to start our, uh, unloading the circus. And, uh, we better get roustabout. You better, I'm the boss of the circus now. Better get busy. We've got the show this afternoon, and we got to get ready for the parade. Uh, all the townspeople are going to be here in a minute to see us set up the circus. As many townspeople come to see us set up the circus as they do to come see the circus. We should charge admission. I'm no fool. Hey, right, boys. Let's have it. Okay there. Rock them out. Come on, fellas. Let's get it really going. Yes, sir. Oh, look at the people gathering around here. <laughs> well, stand back, folks. Don't want to let any of the effluents to, to trample on you, or uh, don't want any of the lions or tigers to get out and frighten you. Just stand back, and you'll see everything. Why, oh, there's a lovely young lady. <laughs> well, don't be timid. Step right up. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> you coming to see the circus this afternoon? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> How much is it? Circus? Fifty cents. For grandstand seats, 75 cents for boxes. No. What's the matter, little one? I'm a little short. <laughs> what about the milk money? My, my father's real close with a dollar. <laughs> real near. <laughs> <laughs> well, little one, don't let that trouble you. Ah, if you stick with me, I'm the chief roustabout of this circus. I'll take you around and show you some of the, the great sights. Oh, if I could just walk around with you, that, that's all I'd well, want. Say, just join me and I'll take you around to some of the tents. How'd you like to visit the clown's tent with me? I'd love to. Would you? Well, step right this way. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Here's the clown tents. You know, now clowns are no notoriously funny fellows when they get uh, on the performance. Oh. But uh, they're not really. No. Oh, here's one of our clowns here now. Hello there, Paul Yachi. <coughs> <coughs> Even though you're only make-believing laugh clown, ha ha. Even though something inside is grieving, laugh clown, laugh. Don't let your heart grow too mellow. Just be a real punchinello. Fellow, you're supposed to brighten up a place and ha ha, clown, ha. Paint a lot of smiles around your face and laugh, clown. Don't frown, don't let the world know your sorrow. Be a Pagliaccio, laugh, a clown, laugh. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> you see, all is not uh, quite so gay and happy in circus life. No, guess not. Well, step a little further. Here, here's somebody you really should meet. You'll mm -hmm. excuse me for a moment, won't you? Yes. Just a moment. Mm-hmm. Oh, this one? The bearded lady. Oh, the bearded Don't lady? Don't be frightened. Bearded lady. <laughs> Hello, my dear. 
How do you do, ma'am? I'm not ma'am at all. I'm Colonel Crockett, and I didn't ask for this part whatsoever. What are you doing in it, then? Beulah Witch and Madame Oogapus turned it down, so I had to be a good sport. Look. Moth-eaten. It certainly is. A little sparse. Well. I, I don't believe there are such things anyway. Well, I don't know, but I'm it now. Well, you make a very handsome character. You really do. Looks very nice. I didn't dare be up at the same time because it was my idea. Some <laughs> bearded lady. <laughs> well, let's step a little further. Here are some of the great aerialists here. Oh, I'd see. love to see oh, them. Oh, here's a, here's a very fine lady. Maybe she'll step out. She's a tightrope walker. Oh? Mm-hmm. Come out, please. Hello, kids! <laughs> Wouldn't you know? Would you like to see me uh, uh, walk a rope or two? Yes. Three? Well, watch me. Stand back. Oops. Beulah, get on the rope. <laughs> Shh. Watch this. This is death to find. <laughs> Turn completely around. Well, you really did. Great, hmm? Don't you think that's fine? Yes, it's Now watch fine. me again. Great, huh? Yes, it's <laughs> How's that? Hmm? Fine. Great. Don't watch him do a double leap this time. Thank heavens for the umbrella. I parachuted safely to the ground. See you later, dear. Oh, goodbye, Hugh. <laughs> you would like to be what if you were in a circus, my dear? Like to be a um, uh, bareback rider. You would? Wear a pink net dress. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Have jewels on my head and fancy bracelets. Just a moment. I'll fix something up for you. I'd like you to meet Queen of the Bareback Riders. Well, I certainly would love to meet her. Bertha. Queen Bertha. of the Bareback Riders. Bertha? Hello, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great thrill, indeed. Oh, not at all, my dear. You'd like to be a bareback rider? Yes, I would. Yeah, how are your feet? <laughs> well, fair. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you might look very nice. Stop by after the performance. I will. We might have a round or two around the ring. Are you going in the ring now? Yes, dear. I'm going in the oh. ring now. I'll be very anxious. Oh, not that <laughs> kind. <laughs> oh. Going in the ring tonight. I have to practice. Goodbye. Here I go. I'm tippy toe. <laughs> I'd love to see the horse she rides. <laughs> oh. Poor horse, believe me. I should, well, this, this has been a very wonderful experience, and he did... Is that all I'm going to see? Oh, no, no. Uh, if you'd like to, uh, we could, uh, you and I could step over that way and you could see um, uh, this great fellow practice on uh, his uh, trapeze. All right. He's quite a great character. Would you like... Over this way? Sit right over there by the grandstand. I'll Good. get you a bag of peanuts. Lovely girl. Sweet little thing. Something in her manner touches my heart. Hmm. <laughs> Well, we'll be playing there tomorrow, so we'll catch up with him. <laughs> well, my little maiden, 
Where are you? I can't see No a wonder thing. you can't see. Oh, would you mind pushing me back a little bit? Yeah. Thank you. Well, my dear. Oh, well, get rid of this. Uh, lower away, boys. Up. Oh, that a boy. They sure do what you tell them, don't they? Yeah, well, I'm known around this uh, part as, uh, I have sort of a nickname. Of course, uh, I have a lot of admirers, and I'm known as Big Top. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Big Top. Big Top. <laughs> I was a shy little maiden fair Who ventured to town when the circus was there And just by chance I found romance When I met a fellow named Big Top Big Top The rollicking, romancing roustabout To all the girls I am the world's greatest attraction Without a doubt Bowed with a flourish and said, by the way, will you be my guest at the circus today? My answer was yes, for I must confess, the love of my life is... Big Pop, a big pop, that curly-haired, curly-toothed bundle of mirth to all the girls. I am the world's grandest, most glorious bow on earth. Willing to be shot from a cannon just to prove my love for you. Or into a lion's mouth I would put my head in case you asked me to. For you sweep me off my feet, you make a monkey out of me. I'm as limp as cotton candy when you hold my hand. And my heart is beating louder than a steam calliope, beating louder than the bass drum in the circus band. On the highest high wire, 400 feet above the ground, I dance a jig. And without a nest, I'd soar through the air just to prove my love for Big Top. BT. The rollicking, romancing rouse about to all the girls. I am the world's greatest attraction without a doubt. You show the clowns how to have fun. I'm a one, two, Ring circus, roll him to us. Big pop. <laughs> oh, that was a beautiful song. I had a wonderful time with you, sir. Jack Fashionado wrote that just that for a us. Great song. A wonderful song. We'll do it again sometime. Well, kids. <laughs> I guess we'd better have our circus out at the picnic grounds because uh, I have just one thing to say. Oh? Remember, in television... It's RCA! Victor. This is Bert Tilstrom thanking you on behalf of all the Kukapolitan players. As Fletcher might say, uh... Thanks. Oh, yes, yeah, thanks very much indeedy. C.A. Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. C.C. Television.